you have your rabbit ears on though. You do really. Oh my gosh. Well, well you don't have them on your foot. Come on. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, you just said it wherever. It's fine. Yay, perfect. I love it. Okay. Thank you like you. playing pool? What? what else do you like oh. playing? Huh? What's going on? Hi. How are you? Good. Go ahead and have a seat for me right over there, sir. Seems like I startled you there. Hmm? Seems like I startled you there. Um, you don't speak English. No, no. You don't really speak English? No. Um, get some sticks. Okay, well, let me, um, I have a couple things here, so. This would be you, right? Yeah. If there's nothing else he has to say, then I just have to let him know that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and you've just been skeeted in 4K. What up, y'all? It's your boy Skeeter Gene here coming at you from the editing room, and if you haven't already, be sure to check out my page on Locals. Here you can access exclusive, early, uncut, and uncensored Predator Catch content. If you're not familiar with the platform, it's basically just like Patreon, except I can post just about whatever I want on there, um, including some content that may be a little too hot for YouTube. You never really know what's going to happen here on YouTube with their highly strict guidelines, so I highly encourage you guys to consider becoming a Skeet supporter on Locals so that we can keep delivering you guys the content that you want to see. Now that I've got all my e-bagging out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and be sure to follow my second channel and my Twitch as well. Around this time of year, many of us are in the Easter spirit, engaging in various holiday-related activities, scavenger hunts, chocolate Easter bunnies, and for the rather ambitious ones, peeps. Ugh. I mean, who really eats those things? They're so disgusting. Yeah. Anyway. While there are many other activities to partake in, hanging out with 14-year-old girls who are home alone is a big no-no. But if you ask Renee here, it's probably a normal everyday activity when you get off of work. That's right. As soon as he clocked out from his day job, he was on his way to our stink house to shower up and meet a 14-year-old girl. But before this would happen, we thought we'd get into the Easter spirit ourselves. Renee thought he was in for a good time with this girl, but he actually ended up meeting the Easter Bunny instead, followed by the Marion Police Department when they arrived on scene. He was all happy-go-lucky until I bunny hopped out of the room and startled him. What? What else do you like oh, playing? Oh. What's going on? Hi. How are you? Good. Go ahead and have a seat for me right over there, sir. Renee is a smooth talker when he chats online, but don't take my word for it until you've read some of his chat log. He reaches out to the girl on a dating app and asks how old she is. The girl says that she's 14. Renee says that he's 41 years old and acknowledges that the girl is underage. He then talks about how he doesn't want any problems. The girl says that she's not gonna tell anyone. Renee then says, maybe we can meet soon. I like you a lot. He asks the girl what she's done and if she's made love. The girl says that she's inexperienced. Renee then proposes that they try or sex. And after a few more messages are exchanged, Renee asks for the address. Renee thought that he'd be getting lucky on this day, but he put all of his eggs in one basket and that backfired on him. Now we came across this Renee character um, the same way we'd come across any of these alleged predators. Um, you know, on a dating app, really nothing out of the ordinary there. What was a little out of the ordinary was the fact that he, on this day, he was just getting off work and he wanted to come over to this 14-year-old girl's house who was, you know, home alone and take a shower. And as soon as he proposed this, you know, of course, our eyes lit up and we were like, yeah, come on over and take a shower. No problem. It was interesting how carefree and comfortable he was with, you know, coming to this girl's house and, uh, you know, borderline committing a felony. Because his chat log was a little bit graphic. You know, he described how he wanted to uh, cuddle up with this girl. He mentioned um, making love to her at some point. Um, described a couple of the, um, you know, methods of having intercourse that he wanted to uh, you know, perform on the girl. 
With how comfortable he was just walking into the sting house and taking a shower as soon as he got there, it's, it's a little bit concerning. It almost, you know, makes you wonder if this guy has done this before. And of course, when we asked him, um, as with all other alleged predators, um, it was his first time, of course. I believe that to be the case sometimes with these guys, but with Renee, no, I, I just, I just wasn't buying it. Another interesting thing about this situation was the fact that Renee only spoke Spanish pretty much. Um, he was most likely using some sort of um, text translator to um, actually chat with the decoy. When we were interacting with him, it seemed that he could sort of understand some English, but not too much, and he for sure could not speak it at all. It's really a good thing that we had Shonda from PCI there to dial up a translator right there on the spot so that we could, um, you know, sort of do the, um, the, the interview with, with Renee. And that was the first time I had ever had to actually use a translator to, you know, interview the alleged predator in the room. You know, it's, uh, it, was, it was a different experience, but, um, you know, that's just one of the perks of the job. You know, pff, no day is the same. So we got a text from Renee saying that he was, you know, on his way to the sting house and we got suited up. You know, I started putting on my, my Easter Bunny costume, um, got the little scavenger hunt ready, um, prepared the peeps for Renee in the bathroom, put him on the bathroom counter. And before long, Renee pulled up, parked in the garage, and he came on in to meet this 14-year-old girl. All right, this guy is coming over pretty soon. Uh, I figured it'd be a good opportunity right now for me to film the Easter special. So right now, they got a couple of eggs laid out. We got some bunny ears here for the, for the potential predator. Uh, we're gonna try to get him to put these on when he gets here. And as you can see, we have an egg right there. And uh, we have a couple eggs laid out leading up to the, um, you know, the bathroom here where he's supposed to, uh, go in and take a shower. So I'm actually gonna lay another one like right here. This will be right there, right on his way to the bathroom. And uh, all right, let me go ahead and put this tight ass suit on. See if we can get it on with pants. Uh, okay, so far so good. He's not gonna know what hit him when I hop out of the room and confront him. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, come on. Oh, one size fits all my ass. Oh, I might stretch it out a little bit. It's really hugging my nuts right now. <laughs> Happy Easter, motherfucker. I can't, even, I can't even button it, I'm too fat. Too fat for this costume. Thick with two C's. Yeah, with all the C's right here. Uh, let's see if we can... Nope, it's not happening. How do I look? <laughs> she like barely fits me. Uh, all right, oh, you print them off for this guy? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Not the whole oh. thing, but just like... Oh, we, oh I, I got these big Easter eggs. You can like put them in there. Yeah, we can put like a few of them in here. I gotta see some of these pictures. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, I can be like, yeah, so this is your picture, right? Is that the guy we're right there? Yeah. Yeah, we're meeting this guy. Oh. Moderato. Mr. Bunny, sir, you look like you're preparing for a flood. <laughs> I am, yeah. This, like, it says one size fits all, but it never obviously it didn't. Yeah. It didn't work out. Always lies. <laughs> if anything, it makes it funnier. <laughs> All right, got him some peeps. Every predator loves a good pair of peeps, you know. They're just as innocent as, you know, the child that he's trying to meet today. So we're gonna put these in the bathroom for him. You can snack on some peeps. And we're gonna leave them right here for him.
All right, so hopefully he goes in there and just starts taking a shower, and then we're gonna call the cops. And then I'm gonna hop out once he comes out of the shower. All right, he should be here any minute now. Recording. Any minute. Oh, I'm ready to give him these eggs. Oh boy, am I. Is a van blowing up? Typical predatory vehicle. Yeah. If it's all white and rusty, it's probably him. <laughs> For sure. What's going on? They see a car just like, sitting down. Like, sitting Where? Somewhere. Like down the street? Yeah. Oh, that right there. Right there. Right there. It might be him. It's probably him then. He's coming up, he's coming up, he's blocked. All right, he's here. Remember the bunny ears. Oh, he's pawing in the garage. He's probably parking in the garage. You like oh. playing? Huh? What's going on? Hi. How are you? Good. Go ahead and have a seat for me right over there, sir. Right over there, if you could just have a seat, please. Seems like I startled you there. Hmm? Seems like I startled you there. Um, you don't speak English. No, no. You don't really speak English? No. Well, it seems like you speak pretty good English. So, who, in, in the conversation, who are you here to meet? Um, who are you here to meet? Uh, what, what brings you here? Um, or only for um, communication from text. Okay, well let me, um, I have a couple things here, so. This would be you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your profile on the Badu account, on mm -hmm. the uh, Badu app? You use the Badu app? Um. I know, I know you know how to speak English. Speak mm -hmm. English. You mm -hmm. were typing it very well. This is you, right? Yes. That's you, okay. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. And you're here to meet a girl that told you she was 14? What? How old is the girl that you're here to meet? Is it? No, I don't speak English. 
Do we have a translator? Could probably text it to him. Okay. Let's see here. You ask this girl if she likes. Huh? You ask this girl. You see, you type that. Oh, uh-huh. See, you remember typing this, right? Yes. So you can type English perfectly. No, Not perfectly, but. No, this thing. Okay. It's for for text or no? Oh, for text. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So it, so it types it for you. Yes, yes. Okay. Do you have an ID on you? Huh? Do you have an ID on you? And no, and como se tramitando. No idea. No. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, you tell this girl that you can try it with her. No, you don't. No, you don't quite understand what I'm asking you here. Okay. Oh, we have a Google Translate. Okay. Now, sir, if you could just please have a seat right there. Please just have a seat for me. Yeah, yeah, I'm in my home. Yeah, I'm in Casa. We got a translator. Yeah, we do have a translator. Can you tell him that we're not here to harm him? Now, as serious of a situation as this was, um, the, the funny thing about it is that Rene actually forgot to take his bunny ears off um, that the decoy gave to him um, during, you know, the interview when I was talking to him. You know, it was like when I hopped out at him dressed as the Easter Bunny, I just, you know, scared the bejeebies out of him like he just forgot about literally everything else that was going on. And speaking of bunny ears, if you're in the market for a good pair of bunny ears at a reasonable price, there's this online store called uh, Timu, and they sell everything at a great price. And not to mention, they're actually sponsoring today's video. What up? It's your boy Sellout Skeet here, and I'm here to talk to you about Timu. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Timu? And what the f does it have to do with a predator catch video? Well, nothing really. I really just want your hard earned money, so listen up. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories. They offer top notch products at affordable prices so that everyone can enjoy them. Fun fact they're actually ranked number one in the App Store for online shopping. You can't do much better than that. Are you in the market for a Nintendo Switch? Well, Timu's running a crazy spring sale right now, and you can save big on one. For my viewers specifically, you can save more than $110 on Nintendo Switch if you shop at Timu. Priced on Amazon at around $350, priced on Timu for around $300. It's really a no-brainer. Plus, if you use my code at checkout, you can save even more. Or maybe you need a fresh pair of Easter Bunny ears for the Easter holiday. Timu's got you covered on that too at a very affordable price. Do you like to pretend to be an old f***ing lady sometimes? I know I do. Timu's got the best jigsaw puzzles on their website, also at a very affordable price. If you're in the market for anything at a very affordable price at the moment, be sure to check out Timu in the link in the description down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and hand you back over to Skeet Hansen. And people want to know, who, who are you? How old is the person that you're meeting here? Este, pero ¿qué pasó? Okay. He acknowledged. He acknowledged in his chat log that the girl was 14. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we, we tell him that. Want, can I tell him? Can I tell him that yeah. that you have the chat logs? Yes. yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Eh, señor, eh, ellos tienen las pláticas. Ellos uh -huh. tienen todo lo que lo que texteaste, lo que platicaste con con uh -huh. la muchacha y ahí viene la edad que te dijo. Ah, okay. ¿Qué edad uh -huh. te dijo que tenía? 
porque tú le respondiste nomás. Ajá. Estamos haciendo esas preguntas para que sea sincero. Sí, mira, lo que pasa es que como yo no sé hablar inglés, fue todo por, por texto, por traductor. Y creo uh -huh. que era, que me dijo, creo, 14 o 15, así me dijo. Ok, uh -huh. yeah. He pero, 14, pero nunca quedamos así que de acuerdo que vamos a hacer algo, no, no, nunca la, la traté de agredir. No hablaste, ni nada. no hablaste sexual, no hablaste sexual o sí. Me, pues solamente le hice comentar. Ajá. Te repito que, que yo estoy en México, ¿eh? yo no estoy allá. Yo sí, les sí, ayudo sí. a traducir. Ajá. Este, yo no sé, yo no sé lo que eh, ahorita tu, tu caso. Sí, sí. Pero este, ellos, porque los conozco, tienen uh -huh. todas las preguntas que yo te haga, es porque ellos ya saben la respuesta. Okay. Solamente uh -huh, es para bien. que ver si tú eres sincero. Sí. I'm telling him that you know everything, but I'm just asking for him to be sincere because okay. you know the answers. Yeah, thank you. You might want to mention that we also have the police on standby. Okay, entonces he said that he knows, he knows. Uh, that okay. uh, 1415, but he uses a Google Translator. Okay. But anyways, it's the same, he admitted, and uh, that he didn't talk sexual. Uh, well, he actually did because he asked the girl if she wants to try and Ok, le dijiste a la muchacha que quería sexo oral y anal. Ah, no, 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 no. Ella me había dicho, sí, sí, sí. Ella me había dicho que había estado con una persona que lo había hecho. Pero de ahí pues, nomás fue el comentario y, y pues al momento pues le dije sí, Sorry. pero nunca le dije que lo que le hiciera. Oh, he's saying that she, to, she told him that she had done it before. Ask him so no, that makes it okay true. for him to See, come over there and do it. Right there. Okay. Entonces, si ella, si ella te dijo que ya lo había hecho con otra persona antes, este, eso está bien, no o sé, sea, nomás porque ya lo había hecho con otra persona. No, pero no estaba bien porque nunca vine, no te... nunca vine yo con intención y no siquiera vine preparado para nada, solamente yo le dije que quería ver una película. Mira, fue, todo, eh, ah. fue en eso y ya fue que eso pasó. No, tú sabes que es ilegal ver una película, he wanted to watch a movie. ¿Tú sabes que es ilegal ver una película con una menor de edad? Sí. Bueno, pues aquí yo no sabía la mejor de cómo era la ley. Le digo, es que de, de yo soy de México, de, vengo de, de Chetumal. Ah, sí. De sí, lo que pasa es que yo nomás vengo a trabajar acá, pero nomás vengo aquí por temporada, no tiene mucho que llegué. Was he planning on watching the movie before or after? Y the... pues, lógicamente, yo no conozco las leyes de aquí, pues yo no, yo no, yo no me relaciono con muchas personas. Yo no me relaciono con muchas personas. Yo no me relaciono con muchas personas. Yeah, it's, it's, you should have printed it out, right? <laughs> you didn't take it out of the binder. No, no, it should be in there. Those only two weeks ago. No, ya fue de, de después. No. Sí, por eso, pero fue después que ella me dijo que ya estaba con una persona mucho mayor que yo. Okay, it was, it was after. He was going to have sex with her after. No, 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 okay. no. He asked What? to meet up to watch a movie after he found out that he, she had been with another person before. Okay. Well, I just want to know why he asked a 14-year-old girl such sexual things and then showed up here. Nada más quieren saber qué estás haciendo ahí queriendo conocer una muchacha menor de edad después de platicar sexualmente con ella. At this point, things really weren't looking good for Renee. You know, he came to this house thinking that he was going to be meeting, you know, a 14-year-old girl home alone. The last thing he was expecting was to get hopped out on by the Easter Bunny and then be swarmed by like five people questioning him as to why he was here. Now, I know Rene spoke a little bit of English, but I think his thought process was, if I just pretend like I don't understand what they're saying, um, you know, maybe I can get out of this situation. That tactic backfired on Rene real quick when we dialed up our translator and after this interaction is going on for some time you know Renee is really feeling the pressure he's still got the bunny ears on from you know a few minutes prior and then the Marion Police Department show up to address the situation and it went even more downhill for Renee when that happened nada pues nada no quería hacer absolutamente nada le digo no, 
What are we doing here today? No tiene inglés. ¿Qué sí que estás haciendo ahí? Pues nomás le digo, vino a conocer a la muchacha y pues nomás fue a ver la película, pero de todas maneras nunca era mi intención de abusar de la muchacha. ¿Quieres decir en inglés? Sí, puedes. Y pues nunca hubo acto okay, de que yo le agarrara la tocara a la muchacha o que le hiciera algo, pues nunca no. Pues nomás fue una conversación okay, nada más así leve. Déjame traducir, por favor. Sí. Um, he was there to meet the 14 year old, that's what he said. Just mm -hmm. to, to talk and, um, and watch a movie and he was not gonna abuse her. Mm -hmm. That was the exact word. That's, how do you say okay. that is a complete load of horse <laughs> Spanish? Do we have that? Because we, we have the, uh, that's a complete load of horse we, we have the chat log, so. Yeah. Sí, por eso, pero. Pero no hubo. Lo que tú digas, no importa ahorita porque, pues, tu conversación escrita, la evidencia ya está ahí, pues. Well, well, he didn't touch her yet, but it, from the chat log, it looked like he was going to, and more. Yeah. Yeah. Sí, pues si no hubiera sido ellos, si hubiera sido la muchacha, ahorita estuvieras haciendo cualquier cosa que dijiste en los chats. No, pues prácticamente no, porque pues, si me hubieran agarrado en el acto, pues ya sería otra cosa. ¿Y dónde iban a ir a ver la película? ¿Vives cerca de ahí? No. No. I'm asking where, where were they going to watch the movie? There was no, 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 pues nada más, pues yo vivo allí en Gaza, donde digo, pues solamente vine, yo conocía porque no conozco gente de aquí. We don't know where he was going to watch the movie. Sí, nada más una película, nada más, pero no sé si aquí en su casa o... Can you, can, can you ask him if he knows the age of consent? Yes. ¿Sabes cuál es la edad legal? No, realmente no lo conozco, le digo... El México es muy diferente, pues yo nunca sé, pues mayormente de aquí lo... No me digan nada de México, que yo estoy en México, a 14 uh -huh. años no es legal. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, don't say that. Yeah. Sí, pero México, usted, me, usted me está diciendo la edad de aquí mayor de acá. Sí, pero en México es igual. No usas esa carta. Ajá. Sí. Ajá, pero supuestamente en México es la mayor edad son de 18. Aquí no, realmente no sé. Exacto, 18. Sí, es 18 en México. Pero como, como, como le repito, pero de todas maneras no toqué a la muchacha, no, no hice nada, absolutamente nada. No estamos hablando de tus nietos o nietos, estamos hablando de un extranjero. Esta es una niña de 14 años que you came a meet, que was home alone, so you thought. Y luego hablas de hacer amor con ella. Porque no hablas de él. Porque no hablas de él. Porque no hablas de él. ¿Puedes decirme que está en la casa? Está en la casa donde él dijo que iba a estar. Well, he understands what I'm saying. Chrissy, I can tell he understands what I'm saying. You said you wanted to... A, I appreciate you doing this, by the way. You said you wanted to make love to this girl. And you were, you were even worried about getting in trouble in the chat logs. That's something he typed. Yeah, he said he was worried he was going to get in trouble. Can you tell that to him in the chat logs? ¿Y por qué les dijiste que le dijiste a la muchacha de 14 años que tenías miedo de meterte en problemas? So he knows pues nada más, pues no voy a tener problemas con sus papás, fue todo lo más que le dije. ¿Y por qué tendrías problemas con su papá? Pues, pues no sé, pues a lo mejor se enojen, pues como... Porque saben que está mal, ¿verdad? No, sino que porque mayormente hay personas que son racistas, que no les caen bien los mexicanos. Oh my God, the racist. I, I practically hate the case of see. Did you say something about me being black? You thought you were going to get in trouble because of the race, because she was white? Mm. No, because he's Mexican. The, the dad uh, was going to get mad. Not because he, how old, can you ask him how old he is? Because he doesn't understand. ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? Yo tengo 39. Sí, pero... So, 39 hanging out with a 14-year-old. ¿Estás casado acá en México? No. ¿No crees que eso es un poco extraño, al menos? Sí, tengo hijos. No está casado, pero tiene hijos. ¿Aquí en México o allá? No, no, allá. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Ok. Y tiene ellos aquí. ¿Qué edad tienen tus hijos? La más grande tiene 16, el que le sigue tiene 13, 
El que le sigue el otro tiene cinco y el otro que le sigue tiene tres. So how many kids? Sixteen, thirteen, five, and three. Four. Ask him if it's okay if a grown man goes and meets his 13-year-old child. Exactly. Entonces, por ejemplo, acá en México, si sabes que un señor de 39 años invita a salir a tu hija de 13 años a ver una película después de chatear sexual, mm -hmm. ¿no te enojas? Pues es prácticamente comentario, nunca se hace un acto. No, por ejemplo, esa no fue la pregunta. Por, ¿Tú ajá. permitirías que tu hija platicara y conociera a un señor de 39 años, tu pues, hija de 13? Pues lógicamente si me entero, pues si se, se molesta uno, pero si de todas maneras ella lo anda ocultando, oh, yeah. pues sí. Ajá. ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice? Si él se va a enojar, sí. Si él se ha encontrado, si no, es ok. If, Por eso, if, nah, si yo no okay. me entero, lógicamente no me voy a enojar porque no me dice well, nada he's, ella. He's saying it's okay for grown men to watch movies with all his kids. He's okay with that? No, he's not okay. So what makes it okay for Because you to do about this? About his 13-year-old daughter. And I just want to know what makes it okay for him to do it with someone else's daughter. Ajá, y tú, ¿por qué si puedes hacerlo y si te molestaría que tu hija lo hiciera de 13 años? Por eso le, 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 le repito, si yo no me entero, que ella, o sea, si no me dice nada a ella, pues lógicamente no voy a hacer como me voy a enojar. Pero si me entero, no, pues lógicamente... Pero, no, si te enteras, si te enojas, entonces estás aceptando ah, que ah, es así algo es. Pero, prohibido. Pero es dependiendo de qué, qué es lo que hagan eh, eh, parte de ella. No sé si hay intimidad con, con la en llegar a hacerle la buena persona, la verdad no sé. Oh my God, he's not, no, we're not going to get anywhere with that. Okay, I'm going to see if the cops want to talk to him or have you help them talk to him. So, you guys want to say okay. anything? Okay, is your ID on you? Yeah. What is that? What? Cigarettes? Yes. What's your name, buddy? René. René what? Yeah. René. Do you have an American ID? En tramite, en, ¿Cómo se dice? Para tramitar, está en tramite. He doesn't have it yet. It's, he's waiting for it. So he's an illegal immigrant? No. Sí, no, tengo visa. He has, uh, I, I think it's a work, work permit. Es, es, es visa de trabajo nada más. Does he live in Marion? Yeah, it's a work permit. Yeah. Chrissy, can you ask him if he lives in Marion? Vives en Marion? No, 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 aquí en, en Gaston vivo. Gaston. Gaston. Mm -hmm. Gaston. Yeah. Gaston. Gaston, Gaston, Indiana. Mm -hmm. yeah. And where is he working on a visa? ¿Dónde trabajas allá? Aquí en este en unos invernaderos trabajo. ¿Qué haces? Este es, son plantas para sembrar. Oh, well, farming. What was it? Farming. Farming. Mm -hmm. ¿Pero cómo se llama la, 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 la empresa? Ah, sí, son, son verdaderos de farms, se llama. Farms es sí. verdaderos, pero sí. tiene un nombre la empresa, ¿no? Ajá, es como... Eh, no tiene mucho que entrar allí también. Pero tiene un nombre. Sí. Es como que... Ok, ¿cómo se llama? Um, Cox, se llama Cox. ¿Cox? Sí. C-O-X. Sí. Cox? C-O-X. No, C-O-X. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, pero en inglés se dice Cox. Ah, bueno, así. C-O-X. C-O-X Farming. Cox Farming. Cox Farming, okay. Mm -hmm. You're a farmer. <coughs> gotcha. So they, they, he goes there like for months and then comes back and he works there like, I don't know how many okay. months a year. Do you okay. consider that like a migrant worker? It's a, the, the company does everything for him to, to go over there. Okay. So I don't know what it is called. <clears throat> Do you have access to the internet right now where you're at? Me? Yes. Can you Google uh, Miranda rights? Uh -huh. In Spanish, right? Yeah, and if you could just read him as <laughs> yeah. Miranda rights. I don't have anything to do. I'm waiting for a catch. <laughs> yeah, neither do we. Yeah. Well, you're in one right now. Thank you. I know. Okay, Miranda, okay. You already know what she's about to read. No. No. Okay. 
If you can read... Te voy read... a leer tus derechos. Te voy a leer tus derechos. Mm -hmm. if, can you read it to me in English so I make sure you have the right thing? Yes, let me... Um, you want to keep your bunny ears? They're, they're ears. You, you can have them. No? No? Gracias. Oh, you, they look good on you. Hmm? No? No? Okay. You have the right... Okay. Is that the one? Yeah, will you read it in English and then in Spanish for us, please? Yes, okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand these rights as they have been read to you? Probably not. That was that was English. That, uh, well, he, he wanted to English and Spanish. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Christy. There should be one a little bit longer than that. Uh, Tell me if you can see that. Yeah, I do. Okay. Sir, do you want to come closer warning. so you can hear her? Um, do you want me to say in English or in Spanish? Spanish, please. Okay. Esto te voy a leer tus derechos, este, René. Uh -huh. Tienes, tienes derecho a permanecer en silencio. Cualquier cosa que digas puede... Le repito, pero es que como no, no es el arma. O sea, no, no, ni siquiera ni ni el acto. Um, okay. well, he should have thought about that before he came to a 14 year old yeah. girl's house. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. You're welcome. Um, yeah, he, he's still saying that he, because they didn't meet and nothing happened, that he doesn't understand why. And I've told him. Uh, ask him if he understands his rights. Si, sí, entendiste los derechos que, que, que te acabo de traducir al español. Ajá. Uh -huh. Son los mismos que tenemos nosotros aquí, ¿verdad? En México, es lo mismo. Si quieres hablar, puedes hablar. Si no, puedes agarrar un abogado. Y si no tienes dinero para un abogado, eh, eh, ahí te van a dar uno gratis. Uh -huh. es, es, ¿Entendiste? Ajá. Uh -huh. Mira, para que veas que soy una persona. Sí. Ok. ¿Entendiste? Sí. Ok, he does understand. Ok. Ask him if he knows it's it's a it's a crime. Sabes que es un delito lo que estás haciendo o lo que quisiste hacer. Pues le repito, pues no no era mi intención, pero de todas maneras si lo consiguen aquí, pues uno qué puede hacer. He's sorry, it was not his intention, and he didn't know it was a crime over there. Yo no vengo, no vengo ni agresivo, no vengo ni ni intención de nada, ni ni cuando me recibió la la señora o la muchacha. Nunca la agredí, nunca la traté de abrazar ni nada. Oh my god, I cannot with this dude. He's saying that he, he didn't even touch her when she opened the door, like he's not aggressive. That's what he talks about on the chat log, he was going to do it, he's obviously. He's walking over towards me when I asked him if he wanted to play the role. Exactly. Do you want her to say anything? Uh, he's talking about Sergeant Ryan, he's the okay. one that, he's really good at these. But okay. he's tied up right now. Okay. Um, can you ask him in Mexico, can you go hang out with 14-year-old girls? Oh, my God. In Mexico, you can go out with you at your age, 39 years old. You can go out with a girl of 14 without having problems legal. There are people who do it. I don't know if you've seen it in the news, but they do it. And there's no problem. They've had hijos. He said there's no problem because he didn't touch her. It's different. It's different. You didn't touch her. No, he said that. I told him, I asked him if it's okay here in Mexico because he forgets that I'm in Mexico. Right. That a 39-year-old can date a 14-year-old, right? And he's like, well, it happens. And I said, like, it doesn't make it legal. Gotcha. He knows. So he knows. He knows very well. J just out of curiosity, is Señor, it... Yes. Yo vivo en México. No me digas mentiras. I bueno, México, no, like, no, like, no, 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 no,
Sorry. Okay. Seriously? Mi hermana se fue a los 15 años. Can you tell? Are you serious? <sighs> Eric, where's the chat log? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, they have the chat log? Okay. So he thinks it's... You guys have the chat log out there? Tell exactly. me oh, it's the there. next okay. one in the news coming to meet a 14-year-old girl. Okay. Yeah, ask him why he texted, I want to make love. That's a good one. Yeah. No, pues yo me le pregunté si, si como me comentó, de que había estado con una persona, ya fue que yo le comenté, pero nunca, le, le repito. Nunca vine yo que sé cuando yo entré, que la agarré, la abracé y la besé ni nada de eso. Saying I love everybody probably and I didn't mean to it translate. No, he said that he, no, he's, he's saying that he didn't say anything about that. He just said that he was reading what she wrote about her having experience. He didn't say anything else. So do you like It's not true at all. Yeah, so she likes and yeah, so she likes Then you pretty much said that you wanted to try those things with her. Can you ask him, you texted, do you like No, he was curious. Oh, well, you know, curiosity. Well, como le repito. Ay, mi, mi, o sea, no, afortunadamente pues, no tengo pues, niñas, tengo un puro varón, pero no sé qué pueda pasar, pues hay muchas niñas que lo hacen así. Y, 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 y lógicamente, y lógicamente, amigas, uh, amigas de mi hijo. You know, Kiri hasn't killed the cat, so. Oh. Christy, what'd you say? What is he saying? Because I told him, like, is it normal for you to ask that? And he's like, well, I just got curious, and I told him, like, what if, if somebody asked that to your 13-year-old daughter? And he's like, no, they're all boys. Okay. They can get played on just the same. What if it was a 13 year old son, for instance? Sounds like we're just going in circles here. He's still with the charade that he didn't touch her. So I told him, like, okay, so now people have to wait for you to traffic. Are we, you you guys know, down here. Oh, yeah, just about. Down. If we could just uh, say one more thing here. Yeah, if there's, one more thing. If there's nothing else he has to say, then I just have to let him know that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet kids online for sex, and you've just been skeeted in 4K. Mm. Okay. Okay. You know what? I love the bunny thing. Oh, thank you. Um, Estás, eh, él es Skeeter Jean y, tiene, y los demás son BCI y PCM y son parte de una organización que se dedican a esto precisamente a agarrar gente enferma como tú uh -huh. y vas a salir en las noticias y no eres el primero, llevan más de 300 personas uh -huh. más para que sepas entonces cualquier verbo matador que te quieras echar no va a funcionar porque todo ya lo hemos escuchado de todos los demás que han tratado de hacer lo que tú haces uh -huh. Oh, Just in time. All right, man. Go ahead and set your jacket down. Put your hands behind your back, okay? Set your jacket down. Get it done. Put your hands behind your back, all right, man? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say you just been skeeted in Spanish. I've never, I never looked <laughs> it up. <laughs> Maybe. Do you have any idea on you at all? Now, I don't speak much Spanish myself, so it's hard for me to say whether the translator was actually able to tell Renee that he had just been skeeted in 4K or not, but I like to assume that that she she told him that. You know, maybe I'll enroll in some Spanish classes or something just so I can learn how to say you've just been skeeted in 4K, like myself, just for just for my sake. But either way, whenever Renee gets to watching this video back, he will then know that he had been skeeted on that day. En, en, en transmisión, digo, en, en trámite, en vieja nada más. He's basically saying he didn't do anything because he didn't touch her. Um, and he doesn't have ID, he's it's here vieja. on a visa. And um, he, he did admit that he was here to meet up. I got the security card back. Mm -hmm.
All right, well, let's get going, huh? Thank you, guys. What are we going to do about his car? Uh, we can have it removed. Yeah. yeah. But, it, I mean, it's going to be on the cost of you guys, or the homeowner. Uh, since it's uh, we'll take care of it. Since, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. since it's not illegally parked or whatnot. Okay. So. How much is that going to be? Rick. Like 60 bucks, maybe, or something like that. Okay, then. 60 bucks to get his car out of there? Yeah. And That's not can, too bad. It'll be, it'll be on us, not the homeowner. Yeah. Do you, do you guys come in here and do this often? Uh, I mean, this is my first time here. They do it, they you do mean, this a lot here. You mean Marion? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like decoy house and stuff like this? Yeah, we see that. This is the first time we've done a house here. Marion. Okay. Uh, this is this is Officer Complex card. There's a department phone. Okay. Remember here? If you guys can just call and give us a heads up. Okay. Yeah. Like, like yeah. I'm, we're yeah. not trying to kill your vibe or anything, just so we know what's going on. Oh, yeah, for Because sure. it was so confusing coming over here. I didn't know what was going on. Right, right, right. And if, if one of these guys would happen to come in here and do something stupid, right. we at least know. And, uh, yeah, so we yeah. been up here before, and they asked us that again. We reached out and asked them who to call, and we didn't get back. Uh, so that's, we can definitely call there's you. A, uh, the Sergeant okay. Ben Caudell. Okay. He's like he's the one who does like a lot of the sex crimes. Okay. He's a yeah, detective. We sent all our yeah, I can write it on the back. Yeah. So that would be the best person to call on. Yeah. Like, hey, we're in. I think he works Monday through Thursday. Okay. Yeah, we were taking that on the way up. We were like, I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna give you the uh, captain of uh, detectives. Thank you so much. This is Captain Mark Stephanos, and these guys are, if, if you reach out and let them know what's going on, they might be able to help you or something like that, or, uh, you know, we're, we're huge supporters of what's going on, so, just, pretty much, I mean, just, if something were to go sideways, we know at least what's going on. Right, for sure. Like, yeah, we prefer that anyways. Yeah, well, like, we roll in there, like, I don't know, what's with this? <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're doing, like, an Easter special. This is, this video is going to come out around Easter time, okay. and we had them put on a pair of ears, we just thought it. That'd be okay. funny. The dude took a shower here. Actually. He did. He took a whole shower. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wonder if he took any peeps. We put some peeps in the bathroom for him. <laughs> right. Yeah. I gotta go there and check on that. But, uh, yeah, I gotta go there and peep that. Okay. See what we got here. How he knows where the heat is air One glove. Looks like a. I don't know what that metal thing is down there. And check out this sweet tent job with all the bubbles. That shit's hard. <laughs> yeah. That shit's hard. Professionally done. Chloroform towel. Oh, I see. And then there's a bag in the back. Perfect. Do you guys need me to be right here for this? Do you guys need to go? Hey, take it easy. Well, that was some shit. We have poker's too thick, right? I might need to send her a good Holy shit. Final messages for us? Yeah, yeah, we got a final one. Are you getting changed? All right, boys, that was, um whatever the fuck his name was from Mexico. And uh, he, you know, he came here to meet a 14 year old girl, said he wasn't gonna do anything. Even though he got in the shower, got all squeaky clean to cuddle up with her and make love shortly after. But in the end, he got hopped on by the Easter Bunny and he got skeeted <laughs> by Skeeter Gene and PCI, so. He's all like, key, key? Yeah, I think God we had that translator. I wouldn't have known what to do. Huh? I wouldn't have known what, known what to do without that translator. Right, right. I, mean, screw, I, I, thought, he, I thought he spoke some English, but geez. Oh, right. I, that was crazy. Do you think he was fake or do you think he was serious? Maybe, a little bit probably. He was probably exaggerating. Right, right. I yeah. think he was too. Do you see how he jumped when I like chopped <laughs> 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 He was like. <laughs> yeah, bro, that was, was funny, bro. Oh, dude. That's was funny. Bro. That was some <laughs> I can't wait to watch the other the other cameras. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, that's uh that's gonna be a cut, boys and girls. Let's go get drunk. <laughs> you know the story of Renee is really sad if you think about it. You know he comes over to the United States after you know living in poverty in Mexico, moves to you know Indiana, pursues this this job. You know he's there in Indiana working you know on a visa, and then for him to just you know, throw all that away just to try to come and, you know, get with an underage girl. It's just, uh, you know, you, you really hate to see it. 
at the end of the day, Rene gets booked by the Marion Police Department and he is charged with using a computer to solicit a minor as well as traveling to meet a minor for sex. Not to mention he did have a prior charge of something along the same lines previously. And Renee's bail was set at just over $40,000. It's a little low if you ask me, but better than nothing. With a bond like that, I don't think Renee is going to be around his family for Easter Sunday this year, unfortunately. And we know there are many, many other predators just like Renee, and he was just one of the bunch, really. And if there are any more predators out there and they fall into our investigation, they will be discovered and they will get skeeted, just as Renee did on this day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Skeeta Predator. If you did, be sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're feeling frisky, click the link down below and become a supporter on Locals. You won't regret it. Well, I've been your host, Skeet Hansen, and that's going to be a cut, boys and girls. Uh, let's go get chocolate bunny wasted. <laughs>